who's found what? Dr. Russell has found my suppressed desire. <gasps> that is interesting. He finished with me today. He got a hold of my complex in the most interesting way, but, oh, Henrietta, it's so terrible. <laughs> Calm yourself, Mabel. Truly, there's no occasion for all this agitation. But there is. And when you think of the lives that are affected, the readjustments must be made in order to bring the suppressed hell out of me and save me from the insane asylum. The insane asylum? You said that's where these complexes rock people. What did the doctor say, Mabel? Oh, Henry, and I don't know who I can tell you. It's so awful. So unbelievable. <laughs> Mabel, I'd rather have my hand at the unbelievable. Well, who would have ever thought it? How can it be true? But the doctor is so perfectly certain that, Mabel, do go on. I'm not unprepared for what you have to say. Not unprepared? You mean you suspected it? From the first. It's been my theory all along. But Henrietta, I didn't know myself that I had this secret desire for Stephen. Stephen? <laughs> my brother-in-law. My own sister's husband. My Stephen? Are these unconscious selves terrible, Henrietta? They seem so unlike us.
Well, if this is going to be like this, then do my paper. Your, your paper on psychoanalysis. Look at where it's got you now, Henrietta. Mabel, what about your husband? What about him? My suppressed desires need to be relieved. With Stephen? Yes, with Stephen. Why not with Lyman Eggleston? What if Dr. Russell's theory is better than mine? I'd like to know why it's better than mine, Stephen. <laughs> Think about it, my dear. Be rooster. <laughs> Step and be rooster. You have the egg. But, Dr. Russell's got you beat a mile. You just have to face it. What has Lyman Eggleston got to do with it? Well, according to Henrietta, <coughs> you, me, and have a suppressed desire for Eggleston, the egg. Wait, Henrietta, I think that's indecent of you. He's little and fat and bald as an egg. The idea that you think such a thing of me. And Bob isn't little and bald and fat as an egg? Why don't you stick to your own husband? But you said Mabel Snow is Mary Snow. Mabel, the cases are entirely different. You substitute your own name in for hers. I wouldn't have believed this of you, though. My husband? You? Your suppressed desire? You insist? Ugh. Well, careful, careful. The paper on psychoanalysis. I don't care about psychoanalysis. Do you mean that, Henrietta? Why shouldn't I mean it? Look at all I've done for psychoanalysis, and what has it done for me? What you're saying, then, is that you are done talking about psychoanalysis. Why shouldn't I be done talking about it? I mean, look what it does to people. Maybe one's going crazy about psychoanalysis. That's true. Are you saying that you are no longer going to wake me in the middle of the night and ask me what I've been drinking? Dream what you please. I do not care what you're dreaming. And will you please clear off my work table, my work table, of the selected works like the Journal of Morbid Psychology, so it's not staring me in the face every time I try to find a house. I will burn the Journal of Morbid Psychology. Well, if you're ready to be separated from psychoanalysis, I see no reason for me to be separated from you. But what about me? What am I to do with my suppressed desire? Mabel? You just keep right on suppressing it. <laughs>